Lift off. In the last five years, we have launched more objects into orbit than in the past three decades combined. But what's driving this thriving new space economy? The short answer is economics. Previously, only nations and government organizations could afford to get to space reliably. But today, it's now cheaper to get to orbit than at any point in human history. NASA's space shuttles, which were retired in 2011, cost an average of 1.6 billion per flight to reach low Earth orbit. Now, compare that to SpaceX's medium-lift Falcon 9 rocket, which charges around 62 million per launch to reach low Earth orbit. That's a 25 times reduction in cost. But why is it so much cheaper? Before we answer that question, let's talk about what humanity has to gain from exploring space. Space presents massive opportunities for private, public, and government entities alike. Opportunities like asteroid detection can provide greater awareness of impending collisions. Asteroid mining, while still a ways off, has the potential to harvest common and rare minerals that can be used back on Earth. Did you know that the composition of asteroids is extremely varied? Some asteroids may contain up to 100 grams of platinum per ton, which is 10 to 20 times more than what is found in open pit platinum mines on Earth. Mining asteroids might also help reduce pollution as it could reduce the need for massive mining operations on Earth. Another soaring opportunity is the development and deployment of new satellites and satellite technology. Satellites have been and continue to be a force of innovation in information technology, climate science, national security, and more. For example, have you ever paid for a cup of coffee with your bank card and wondered how your money gets transferred from your account to the merchant? You can thank satellites for that. When you use your card, a satellite link is established between the shop and your bank. Space tourism is another opportunity that we've been hearing more and more about as civilian space travel edges closer to reality. On October 13th, 2021, William Shatner became the oldest person to cross the Kármán line. Shatner said of the experience, when I was there, everything I thought might be clever to say went out the window. I was overwhelmed with the experience, with the sensation of looking at death and looking at life. Now that we know the why of space, let's move over to the how. How is it so much cheaper today? To understand this, we need to understand payload. Payload can be a satellite, space probe, or spacecraft carrying humans, animals, or other cargo. Remember the 1.6 billion to 62 million reduction we mentioned before? That reduction in the cost of getting to space is ultimately fueled by a reduction in payload costs. Payload costs in 2011 were nearly 30,000 per pound, compared to now, which is closer to about 1,200 per pound. So what's driving this reduction in payload costs? For starters, the availability of smaller, cheaper components. This makes the rockets, satellites, and other forms of payload smaller and lighter. Reusable rockets have also made a big impact in bringing down the cost of launching into orbit. But the real game changer is new and improved manufacturing techniques, specifically metal additive manufacturing. VAST, formerly Launcher, is a major player in new space. The company used metal additive manufacturing, also known as 3D printing, to reduce the cost of its orbiter satellite transfer vehicle and accelerate the platform's time to market from three years to just 18 months. Orbiter helps organizations get their satellites and other payload into space without needing a rocket of their own. While Orbiter will ultimately attach to the company's light rocket, for the time being, it has been and will continue to be deployed on SpaceX's transporter missions. Here is where things get interesting. 80% of Orbiter's mass is 3D printed by weight. They are quoted saying that they would not have gone to space without metal 3D printing. The business of space is booming, and the hope is that this wave of excitement and development will have a positive impact for those of us back on Earth. But what if the biggest opportunities have yet to be discovered? Just as society has slowly but surely figured out the implications and opportunities of the internet, space may be a similar situation. It's hard to fathom where all this rapid innovation will take us in the decades to come, especially as we explore new opportunities and reduce payload costs even further.